Hello, this is Sir Stillwater, and this is the next video in the Great Building series, and we're going to talk about Alcatraz. So let's go ahead and escape from Alcatraz. Uh, so Alcatraz is a uh, progressive era Great Building. It is a big footprint, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But we can talk about what it has to offer also, which can be pretty big. So here you go. You see a picture of it. It's kind of cool, the footprint. It's got some water around it. Um, it's the island with the, you know, a little bit, a little bit of greenery around the edges and stuff like that. So, and you know, the water tower over here, it's pretty cool. And a lighthouse on this side, and a little bit of everything, huh? The watchtower over here. So it's pretty cool. So either way, this is the Alcatraz. This is a progressive era building that you will often see in people's uh, cities before progressive era because people pursue these blueprints and for, for various reasons. So that's what it looks like on the tile card thing or whatever they call this in the game. I don't really know. Um, but here it is in the wild, just kind of hanging out over here next to my Zeus and, and some other things. So my observatory and so on. So let's take a look and see what, it, see what it's all about. Alcatraz, I mentioned, it is a progressive era building. Uh, construction costs are 250 400 350 500 250 So yeah, that's pretty much in line for what it is. The big cost is going to be in square footage because this is a 10 by 7. That is a big, big building. Um, a, a big, big, great building. So it's going to take up a lot of real estate. Um, I know whenever I place these, which I try to place these as often as I can and as frequently as I can, or as soon as I can in my towns, I usually, I'm like scrounging to try and find real estate to put it, but uh, it's well worth it in my opinion. Everybody's got their own opinion. I'm curious what yours is. Do you, would you waste 10 by 7 on this for what it offers, especially lower levels? Um, put it down below, uh, down in the comments, and share it with the community. Uh, so a road is required, of course, to connect it. And it offers some happiness, which is kind of interesting for a prison island to offer happiness. But <laughs> I guess happiness for everybody else because the prisoners are there. Uh, but the military unit production is kind of the interesting part of this. The production bonus is military unit production, uh, which is unique in, in that sense. Uh, it's the first building to do that. And then we come on, take, let's take a look at that, what that means, right? So here at level one, take 60 FPs to unlock level one. It's pretty common. Uh, you get 2,700 happiness. So if you're building other great buildings kind of leading up to this, um, you're going to be picking up population, and that population is going to need some happiness to offset it. So this kind of goes hand in hand with that. Uh, so that's kind of, that's where I think the happiness piece kind of comes into play uh, uh, for the most part. And then the big piece here, I know I'm going long getting to it, is the unit production. These are military unit production. So uh, any unit that you can produce in your town, city, village, whatever you want to call it, this can give you a daily collect of whatever. Well, in this case, four. At level one, you can pick up four. So let's say you have a, I don't know, whatever. Um, you have a rogue hideout. And your default rogue hideout... You basically, you can unlock two. You have two spots unlocked, and then you can pay diamonds to unlock the extra spots. Let's say you don't want to do that. You just want to use just your two rogues. They take 24 hours a day to train, so when they die, it takes another 24 hours to retrain a new one. This can give you four potentially four rogues per day, just on top of the two that you already have the production capabilities for, and they can stack. They're unattached. So, let's say you, you know delete the building or whatever, they're not attached to that particular building, so you don't lose them. In this case, you wouldn't necessarily delete a rogue building, but a rogue hideout, but um, which is pretty cool. Uh, so anything that you have. Now, the, the other side of that coin is, let's say you have some old uh, troop production or military production. Um, you could be getting those old units as well because it randomly gives you four of a specific for, you know, each day. It gives you four of the same one. It's not like goods where you can, but it will kind of randomly go across whatever you have. So, and you get to level 10, you can get to eight per day. That's nice. I mean, that's that's like two full military buildings productions, um, just kind of grinding out. You don't have to train them. They just train on their own. You just collect them. Um, they don't cost you anything to train. Um, when they die, they die. But let's say they don't die, and they just keep stacking up. You get eight and eight and eight and eight, and then you can end up with this big, inventory so when you're between i'm not gonna go a little false philosophical on this one so when let's say you're in doing guild expedition and you're in the days between right and you're just kind of your days between guild expedition and your days between um guild battleground you're just like piling up troops that are ready for whenever whatever else opens so guild expedition opens and all of a sudden you've got some extra extra available troops to kind of hit the ground running on opening day so that's 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 what i really like this this is Kind of, I'm 
one of my favorites, can you tell? Um, but <laughs> uh, what are your thoughts on the Alcatraz? L uh, let me know down below. Or let us all know down below. It's not just me. You're sharing with the community if you leave a comment. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, again, leave them below. Um, I'm going to keep these great buildings uh, coming as well as some other videos. So uh, if you're not yet subscribed, please consider it. I appreciate it. Uh, have a great day. Bye.